Good afternoon. Today we are going to continue with discussing chapter 1 audit risk and the rest of chapter 1 materiality in auditing. In this lecture we are going to discuss what is the meaning of audit risk and what is the relations between audit risk model components and also we are going to discuss materiality in auditing, steps in applying materiality in auditing and how we as an auditor using materiality level to take a decision about accepting a refu or refusing the financial statements of the our clients. Previous lecture we discussed the meaning of audit risk and we said meaning of audit risk is that the auditor is going to maybe he's going to give an correct opinion about financial statements. For example, he could give qualified opinion where, where he should give unqualified opinion or he give unqualified opinion where he should give qualified opinion. And we said that the components of audit risk model is four uh, components, AAR, IR, CR, and DR. The meaning of AAR is accepted audit risk, IR, inherent risk, CR, control risk, DR, detection risk. And we said that inherent risk and control risk can be controlled with the, with the auditors because it's related to the client and the client who's the one is can control it. And we can say that IR multiply CR meaning material misstatements or the risk of material misstatements. And when we discuss detection risk, we said that detection risk can be controlled by the auditor because it's based on the procedures he's going to take and uh, uh, evidence he's going to accumulate. Okay, today we are going to contain how we can as an auditor uh, uh, calculate detection risk and what is the meaning of we are accepting 110% of audit risk? What is the meaning of we are as an auditor accepting 10% of audit risk? Okay, and also we are going to get the relations between audit risk components, as we said before, and let's discuss the, the materiality in auditing and how we can calculate materiality in auditing. What is the steps we are going to take as an auditor, going through as an auditor to get materiality? Okay. Uh, المحاضرة دي احنا هنتكلم او هنكمل بقية شابتر 1 بقية شابتر 1 uh, هنتكلم فيها على بقية الاودت ريسك وهنتكلم على المترياليتي ان اودتنج uh, هنتكلم على في الاودت ريسك المحاضرة دي عن relations between الاودت ريسك كومبوننس موديل موديل اوف كومبوننس اوف اودت ريسك موديل وهنتكلم على uh, المترياليتي الستبس المترياليتي وازاي الاودتور يقدر يستخدم ليفل اوف مترياليتي اللي هو وصل له ان هو يأكسبت او ريفيوز الفاينانشال ستيتمنتس أو الديسيجن اللي هياخده بناء على الريزلت اللي هيطلع توصل يوصل لها من الماترياليتي تمام احنا البريفيوس ليكتشر او المحاضرة اللي فاتت احنا اتكلمنا على الديفينيشن اوف اوديت ريسك وقلنا الديفينيشن اوف اوديت ريسك ان الاوديتور ميبي هي تيك ديسيجن ا رونج ديسيجن ذا بروبابيلتي ذات ذا اوديتور ميبي هي تيك ا رونج ديسيجن ميبي هي سايد كواليفايد وايل هي شود سايد ان كواليفايد اوبينيون اور سايد ان كواليفايد اوبين وير هي شود جيف كواليفايد اوبينيون فقلنا الاوديت ريسك هو احتمالية ان المراجع ياخد رأي غلط مفروض يدي كواليفايد اوبينيون وفي الحق هو ادى ان كواليفايد او العكس كمان عرفنا ان عندنا الكومبوننتس او الكومبوننتس اوف اوديت ريسك موديل فور كومبوننتس ال اي اي ار وال اي ار وال سي ار وال دي ار وقلنا ال اي ار اللي هي الاكسبتد اوديت ريسك وال اي ار اللي هي الانهيرنت ريسك وال سي ار كنترول ريسك وال دي ار اللي هي الديتكشن ريسك وقلنا ان المراجع او الاوديتور ما يقدرش يعمل كنترولنج على ال اي ار وال سي ار لانها حاجه خاصه بالكلاينت نفسه ولكن هو ممكن يعمل تحكم او كنترول على ال دي ار بناء على البروسيدجرز والتستنج والايفيدنس اللي هو بيجمعها تمام هنبدا مع بعض المحاضره النهارده وهنتكلم فيها هنكمل فيها الاوديت ريسك وندخل بعدها على او نكمل بعدها الماترياليتي ان اوديتنج Let's start with our lecture today for audit risk. Let's start with audit risk. As we said before, that audit risk meaning the probability that the auditor going to give an uh, audit going to give incorrect opinion. As we, for example, we say it, qualified opinion where he should give unqualified opinion, and uh, qualif unqualified opinion where he should give qualified opinion. So when you, as a, an auditor or, or when you as a student. Say listening to or uh, hearing that the audit, audit risk equal 10%, meaning that the probability that the auditor is going to give incorrect opinion, meaning 10%. That meaning also that the auditor is going to working in 90% certain or the environment giving him 90% certain, certain. Okay? يبقى معناها or meaning that the level of risk that auditor is going to give 
incorrect opinion 10% and 90% is going to give correct opinion this is an example okay يبقى احنا عندنا هنا لو ان لو قلنا ان الاوديت ريسك معناها ان الاوديتور هيدي احتماليه ان الاوديتور يدي ان يدي ان كوريكت اوبينيون فلو احنا سمعنا ان الاوديت ريسك از ايكوال 10% معناها ان الاوديتور هيدي ان كوريكت اوبينيون بنسبه 10% وكوريكت اوبينيون بنسبه 90% يبقى هو عنده درجه من درجات السيرتن او الثقه بنسبه 90% اوكي يبقى اجين اف اف وي هير ذات اوديت ريسك ايكوال For example, five percent. This meaning that the auditor is going to give is a probability that the auditor is going to give incorrect opinion equal five percent, and the probability is going to give correct opinion is ninety-five percent. He's certain with ninety-five percent that his opinion is going to be correct. Let's discuss this in the our following example. Example number one. An auditor has set an overall level of acceptable audit risk in respect of the client of ten percent. Inherent risk has been assessed as 50% and the control risk at 80%. Required. Explain the meaning of a 10% level of audit risk. B. What level of detection risk is implied by this information? C. If the level of the audit risk were only 5%, how would this affect the level of detection risk and how would the audit work be affected by this change? هنا الاكزامبل عندي بيطلب this example give you the level of audit overall audit risk 10% اللي هو اللي هو equal this mean AAR equal 10% اوكي okay. and inherent risk was 50% and control risk was 80% here he, he asking for three requirements require number four he wants you to explain what is the meaning that overall level of acceptable audit risk equal 10% Okay, as we said before, that meaning 10% level of risk, that means that the author is going to give 90%, he's certain that 90% his opinion is going to be correct, and 10% that his risk, that his opinion is going to be or will be incorrect. So, if I have level of acceptable audit risk 5%, I need to know the 100, I need to know how much certain I am, I am as an auditor to give the correct, the correct Uh, uh, opinion this meaning 100% minus audit risk uh, level the equal certain I am certain that my opinion is going to be correct so this is the ex uh, ex uh, answer for requirement number A requirement number B he asking you to uh, calculate detection risk he ask you to calculate detection risk how we are calculating detection risk we say that we can calculate detection risk using the formula AAR equal IR multiply CR multiply DR then DR equal IR divided by C uh, I, uh, AR divided by IR multiply CR therefore DR equal 25% okay Require number C, he said, if the level of audit risk were 5%, so the acceptable audit risk is going to change from 10% to 5%. How would this affect the level of detection risk and how would the audit work would be affected by this change? If AAR decreased or reduced to 5%, this meaning that the auditor is certain with 95% his opinion on the financial statement is correct. Okay, how is this going to affect DR? Let's calculate DR. DR equal AR multiply R IR divided by, uh, sorry, AR divided by IR multiply CR. So DR equal 5% divided by uh, 50% multiply 8%. This meaning that DR or detection risk would be now 12.5%. More audit risk will be Continuing with requirement number C, this meaning that if we need to reduce the detection risk level, if we need to reduce the probability of audit failure, we need to uh, do more effort as an auditor to accumulate more evidence to 
uh, do most tests and procedures. Okay? Now we are going to discuss the relation within the audit risk model. We need to know the relations between acceptable audit risk, inherent risk, detection risk, control risk, and bland audit evidence. Let's see first the relation between acceptable audit risk and bland detection risk. There is a direct relationship between acceptable audit risk and the bland detection risk. If acceptable audit risk level increase, this meaning the bland detection risk level is going to be increased. And if the level of accepted audits, acceptable audit risk decrease, this meaning the level of bland detection risk is going to be decreased. Okay? Then the relation between acceptable audit risk and bland audit evidence. There is an inverse relationship between acceptable audit risk and bland audit evidence. This meaning if acceptable audit risk increase, level increase, this meaning the planned audit evidence or the should be accumulated planned audit evidence going to be decreased and if the uh, level of acceptable audit risk decrease this meaning that planned audit evidence is going to be increased then let's see the relation between inherent risk and detection risk and audit evidence there is an inverse relationship between inherent risk and detection risk this meaning that if inherent risk increase then detection risk is going to be decreased and if the level of inherent risk decreases then the level of land detection risk is going to be increased okay and there is a direct relationship between inherent risk and the audit evidence this meaning of the level of inherent risk increase this meaning that land audit evidence is going to be increased and if the uh, inherent level uh, risk level decreases this meaning audit evidence is going to be decreased okay the relation between control risk and detection risk and audit evidence. Control risk have an inverse relationship between uh, two audit, uh, detection risk. This meaning if the control risk increase level increase, then detection risk level is going to be in decreased. And if the level of control risk decrease, this meaning the detection risk level is going to be increased. And there is a direct relationship between control risk and audit evidence okay for the detection risk and audit evidence there is an inverse relationship so let's expect what is the relationship between acceptable audit risk inherent risk and control risk correct it's going to be inverse relationship bec because if the acceptable audit risk have a direct relationship with detection risk and detection risk have an inverse relationship with inherent risk and control risk this meaning there is an inverse relationship between inherent risk control risk and acceptable audit risk تمام يبقى احنا لو كملنا مع المطلوب uh, دي سي uh, في الاكزامبل اللي فات هنلاقي ان انا عشان اقلل او اعمل ريديوس للديتكشن ريسك ليفل يبقى المفروض ان انا اعمل اكيوميليتنج او اجمع مور ايفيدنس اند دوينج مور تيستس اند بروسيجرز ذان اوتر واعمل مزيد من الاختبارات والاجراءات كمراجع هنا هنبدا نشوف العلاقه ما بين الاودت ريسك موديل كومبوننتس اللي هم الاربع كومبوننت عندي وبالبلس ان انا هشوف بينه وبين الاودت ايفيدنس فهنلاقي ان في علاقه طرديه ما بين الديتكشن ريسك والاكسبتبل اودت ريسك وعلاقه عكسيه من الاكسبتبل اودت ريسك والاودت ايفيدنس معنى علاقه طرديه ان كل ما هيزيد الليفل اوف اودت ريسك هيزيد الليفل اوف ديتكشن ريسك وكل ما هتقل الليفل اوف اودت ريسك هيقل الليفل اوف ديتكشن ريسك وعلاقة عكسية معناها ان الاودت ريسك كل الليفل بتاعه ما هيزيد الاودت ايفيدنس هتقل وكل ما الريسك بتاع الاودت ايفيدنس هتقل يبقى الاودت ريسك هتزيد كمان لو جينا شفنا العلاقة بين الهيرنت ريسك والديتكشن ريسك هنلاقي ان في انفيرس ريليشن ما بين الهيرنت ريسك والديتكشن ريسك معناها ان كل ما الليفل اوف انهيرنت ريسك بيزيد الليفل اوف الديتكشن ريسك بيقل والعكس صحيح كمان في دايركت ريليشن ما بين الانهيرنت ريسك والاودت ايفيدنس معناها ان كل ما الليفل اوف انهيرنت ريسك بيزيد يبقى الاودت ايفيدنس بتقل بتزيد اسفه وفي ايضا علاقه عكسيه او انفيرس ريليشن بين الكنترول ريسك والديتكشن ريسك معناها ان كل ما الكنترول ريسك بيزيد الديتكشن ريسك بيقل والعكس صحيح وفي علاقه طرديه ما بين الكنترول ريسك والاودت ايفيدنس معناها ان كل ما الكنترول ريسك بيزيد الاودت ايفيدنس بتزيد لو حبينا نعمل expectations للعلاقة ما بين acceptable audit risk وال inherent risk وال control risk ممكن نوصل بان احنا نوصل ان بما ان acceptable audit risk في بينه وبين ال detection risk direct relation 
وال detection risk في بينه وبين ال inherent وال control risk inverse relation يبقى العلاقة ما بين أو relation between inherent risk and control risk is inverse relation أوكي وبكده نكون عرفنا relations between audit risk model نشوف ال example number two So the following a the following assumptions are provided individual audit risk is set at low at low level five percent because of the low overall audit risk. So inherent risk is set at eighty percent rather than seventy percent because the author believe there is a high risk of misstatement. Three control risk is set as at fifty percent. So AR equal five percent, IR equal eighty percent, and CR equal fifty percent. What level of detection risk is implied by this information? B. If the control risk is set at 20% rather than 50% because the author believes there is a lower risk that internal control will not prevent or detect misstatement, that render the assertion in, in invalid and the inherent risk is set at 70% rather than 80%. This meaning AR is going to be, so CR is going to be 20% and IR is going to be 70% okay what level of detection risk is implied by this information and this means that AR is still 5% let's see how we are going to uh, accumulate or how we're going to solve the detection risk or get the information of detection risk we are going to solve uh, this equations I will going to find out the level of DR detection risk DR equal AR divided by IR multiply CR هنستخدم الفورمولا اللي احنا عارفينها اللي بنستخدمها عشان نحسب ال DR اوكي ال AR اللي هو ال Accepted Audit Risk equal 5% divided by IR equal 80% multiply CR equal 50% equal meaning DR is going to be 12% so external auditor will plan on a lower detection risk and will have to increase the scope of audit procedure to achieve this lower risk يبقى عشان يقدر ال auditor يوصل للمستوى ده من الاودت ريسك يبقى المفروض يعمل انكريزنج للسكوب وانكريزنج للبروسيدرز اللي بيعملها واكيوميليتنج مور ايفيدنس سو ذا اوديتور تو اتشيف ذس ليفل اوف دي ار اور ديتكشن ريسك هاف تو اكسباند ذا بروسيدرز ذا سكوب تو اتشيف ذس لوور ريسك ليتس فايند اوت اف ذا انهيرنت ريسك انكريز ديكريز سوري اند سي ار انكريز Uh, decrease so IR increase decrease with from 80% to 70% control risk decrease from 50% to 20% what is the level of detection risk okay so detection risk is going to be audit risk divided by inherent risk multiplied C, uh, control risk so an audit risk is still at 50% uh, 5% divided by 70% multiply 20% so detection risk is going to be the level detection risk is going to be 36% this indicates that the external audit will plan on a higher detection risk and can decrease the scope of audit procedure to achieve this higher risk يبقى هنا ال detection risk عندي هيزيد فال auditor هيعمل decreasing بما ان في there is a, uh, an inverse relationship between the uh, DR and uh, ال evidence So the auditor is going to be decreasing the scope of procedures to achieve this higher risk. Okay. طيب. هنا نكون خلصنا. Now we are finished with audit risk. Let's go to starting audit materiality or materiality in auditing. Materiality in auditing. خلينا نتكلم نقول the materiality هو the level of accepted material misstatement in the financial statement. That's not going to exchange the, the opinion of a reasonable uh, user. Okay? يبقى هو حجم الأخطاء اللي موجودة في القوائم المالية اللي مش هتأثر على مستخدم البيانات أو مستخدم هذه المعلومات. So the level, uh, the meaning of materiality, materiality is the level of the magnitude of an omission or misstatement of accounting information. That in the light of surrounding circumstances, make it proper that the judgment of a reasonable person relying on the information would have seen changes or influenced by the omission or misstatement. يبقى هنا عندي ال materiality. It's the level of accepted. The auditor put a level of materiality, put a level of material misstatement that he is going to accept. Okay. 
this miss statement is going to accept as the financial statement it's not going to affect the decision of reasonable person who is using this information if the, ch the person or the decision of the person uh, change because of the level of this miss statement this meaning we are going to have materiality or going to have material miss statement يبقى هو المراجع بيحط ليفل معين بيقبل على اساسه ده هو ده اقصى حد من الاخطاء هو يقبله ماكسيمم اوف ميس ستيتمنتس ذا اوتر از جوينج تو اكسبت اوكي اف ذا ماتيريال ميس ستيتمنت ذا فاينانشال ستيتمنت از مور ذان ذا ماكسيمم ليفل اوف ميس ستيتمنت ذا اوتر از جوينج تو اكسبت ذا اوديتور از جوينج تو تيك ذا ديسيجن تو ريفيوز ذيس فاينانشال ستيتمنت يبقى لو حجم الاخطاء الموجود في القانون المالي عدى الحد الاقصى اللي المراجع حطه لنفسه يبقى اذا هنا المراجع هيعمل هياخد ديسيجن هيرفيوز الفاينانشال ستيتمنت اوكي طيب ايه هي ريسبونسبيليتي وات از ذا اوتر ريسبونسبيليتي اباوت ماتيرياليتي اوتر از ريسبونسبل فور ديتيرمينينج ويذر فاينانشال ستيتمنت ار ماتيريال ميس ستيتمنت زي ماست ابون ديسكفرينج ا ماتيريال ميس ستيتمنت برينج ات تو ذا كلاينت اتنشن سو ذات ا كوركشن كان بي ميد يبقى الاوديتور اصلا ذا مين تاسك اور ذا مين ريسبونسبيليتي اوف ذا اوديتور از وي سيد ان اوديت 1 تو هاف تو find out or determine what is the the material statement or material misstatement if we find out that financial statement or material misstatement we have two options first number one he give the client attention to the client so the client must correct the misstatement if the client refused to correct this misstatement the author must issue a qualified or an adverse opinion okay طبعا type of, of opinion qualified or, or adverse depending on the materiality of material misstatement okay So he have to tell or make an attention or give an attention to his client that the financial statement are materially misstated. So he had the the client have to correct this misstatement, and after correction, the author can issue a an qualified opinion. If the client refused to correct the misstatement, then the author have to qualify uh, to give an qualified or an adverse opinion. Okay. يبقى اذا عندي هنا الاوديتور مسؤوليته الاساسيه ان هو ي find out financial if the financial statement are material misstated طيب the moment he find out that financial statement are material misstatement يعني معناها what is the meaning that financial statement are material misstatement this meaning that the level of material misstatement that the auditor will accept the maximum level or the li limit the maximum limit is beyond is less than the reality or the real material misstatement the financial statement يعني الحد اللي المراجع بيقبله للاخطاء الحد الفعلي اعلى منه او المستوى الفعلي الليفل اوف ماتيريال ستيتمنت از هاير ذان ذا اكسبتد ماتيريال ستيتمنت ان ذا فاينانشال ستيتمنت ساعتها المراجع قدامه اوبشن ان هو يوضح للعميل الكلاينت اوديت كلاينت اوديتور كلاينت ان في مشكله في الفاينانشال ستيتمنت ان في ماتيريال ستيتمنت ان ذا فاينانشال ستيتمنت ذن ذا كلاينت هاف تو كوركت ذا ماتيريال ستيتمنت ان ذا فاينانشال ستيتمنت اف هي ريفيوز تو كوركت ذس ماتيريال ستيتمنت ان ذا فاينانشال ستيتمنت then the auditor have to give an qualified opinion or give an adverse opinion based or depending على the level of material misstatement موجود في financial statement okay طيب طيب the auditor have some uh, problems or have some difficulties in applying materiality in auditing first of all that there is a multiple uh, there is a huge number of uses of financial statement unexpected uses of financial statement the auditor have to accept the to give the materiality level for all the users okay so the auditors may not know who all the users or what the decisions they may make based on the financial statement تمام يبقى اذا عندي انا عندي مستخدمين كتيرة جدا الفاينانشال ستيتمنت وبالتالي الاوديتور ممكن في يكون مستخدمين مش عارفهم اصلا تاني حاجه ديتيرمين ماتيرياليتي ريكوايرد بيرفكشن جادجمنت وهنعرف ان احنا واحنا شغالين ان احنا وايل وي ار وركينج وي ار جوينج تو فايند اوت ذات ذير از ذا ستاندرد ذين جيفز فور ذا اوديتور هاو هي جوينج تو ابلاي ماتيرياليتي ان اوديتنج هاو هي كان جوينج تو كالكوليت ماتيرياليتي ان اوديتنج اول اوف ذا اول ذا ستيبس وي ار جوينج تو تيك از بيست اون بروفيشنال جادجمنت اوكي ماتيرياليتي اولسو ديفيكالت تو ابلاي بيكوز اتس ريليتيف نوت ابسوليوت كونسيبت مينينج ذا ليفل اوف ماتيرياليتي از جوينج تو بي تشينج بيست اون سام كونديشنز لايك ذا سايز اوف ذا فير وان اوف ذا كونديشن از سايز اوف ذا فير تمام يبقى اذا عندي هي مصطلح نسبي وليس مطلق معناها ان هو بيختلف مينينج اتس ريليتيف مينينج اتس جوينج تو تشينج بيزد اون ذا كونديشنز بيزد اون ذا تايبس اوف ذا كلاينت 
uh, institutions, okay? The professional OSM standards offer less of specific guidance regarding the application of materiality. The OSDEC must therefore exercise considerable professional judgment in the application of materiality. As we said that the standards when we give the auditor how to do the materiality, how to accept the materiality, or how to calculate materiality in the financial statement, and all of this based on his professional judgment. We are going to give three questions to the auditor while he applies materiality in auditing. First of all, there is a huge number of users of financial statements, and maybe these users auditors don't know. Some of these users or them don't know. Sa second of all, we have to use professional judgment because standards don't give the auditor how to uh, calculate or how to apply a materiality in auditing, then the auditor have to act uh, working then in his professional judgment. And see, third of them is it's a relative concept, not an absolute concept. Okay, now we are going to see how we are going to apply materiality in auditing. We are we have three phases in auditing planning, uh, testing and evaluating results. The author using materiality or application of materiality in the three uh, stages of auditing. In stage number one, planning, the author is going to set materiality for the financial statement as a whole, meaning he's going to calculate primarily judgment about materiality. And step number two, he's going to allocate primarily judgment about materiality to segments. This means he's going to solve variable method statement. And these two steps auditor doing in planning. Okay? Third step, estimate total sta method statement in segments. Okay? And for some researchers, they say they think the third step is accepted in testing phase. Step number four, estimate the compliant method statement. And step number five, compare compliant method statement with primarily or revised judgment about materiality. And step number four, step number five is the final in the final stage of the audit process is evaluating results. احنا عندنا في applying materiality in audit عندنا الاوتر بيعمل خمس خطوات. Step number one ان هو يبدأ يحسب level set materiality for financial statement as a whole. Okay, this means he's going to uh, so uh, calculate primarily judgment about materiality. Step number two, he's going to allocate primarily judgment about materiality to segments. And these two steps he's doing in the planning stage of auditing. Step three, estimate total method statement in segments. And some researchers are in the third step, some of the researchers say that we're going to do it, or some of the authors say that we're going to do it in stage number two, testing. Step number four, estimate the compliant method statement. With step number five, compare compliant method statement with estimation that we did it in step one and give a result and step four step five is in the third phase evaluating results okay let's discuss every step in more uh, more detail from slide from the next slide okay step first step set materiality for the financial statement as a whole this means that the author is going to calculate the maximum amount by the uh, he believes that financial statement could be misstated and still not affect the decision of reasonable user. Okay, this means that the author is going to calculate the maximum amount of method statement that's going to accept. خلاص يبقى في step one the author هيحسب حجم ال material method statement or the value of material method statement the financial statement اللي مش هتأثر على the reasonable user. Okay, طيب. How we are going to calculate primarily judgment about materiality? نحسب primarily judgment about materiality بنستخدم three three ratios. First of all, three to five percent of profits for tax from continuing operations, or fifty five point five percent of total revenues. يبقى أول حاجة how to calculate is benchmark to calculate primarily judgment about materiality. Calculate the level. The at maximum level is accepted the material method statement, the financial statement. First of all, we are going to in profit-oriented entity. We are going to solve it from three to five percent of profit for tax. Okay, or point half percent of total revenues. So from three to five percent of profit for tax, من ثلاثة لخمسة في المية من the profit قبل the taxes. أو نص في المية من total revenues. If it's a the material method statement is higher than five percent, then the author is going to refuse the financial statement. 
If it's lower from 3%, the auditor is going to accept the financial statement. If it's from 3 to 5%, the auditor is going to, make, to do more tests and more professional judgment. Okay? Let's focus about for profit-oriented entities because this is what we are going to focus on while we are studying how to calculate primarily judgment materiality. For your knowledge, you will have to know that for not for profit entity, the auditor is going to take five uh, half percent of total expenses or total revenues. From entity in the mutual fund industry, also he is going to have half percent of the net asset value. Okay, this number you have to keep in your mind because you are going to use. Okay. So, لما نيجي نحسب ال primary judgment of interest أو ال level ال maximum level لل auditor اللي هيقبله على اللي هيقبل فيها ال material mission statement للشركات اللي بتكون هدفها الربح بنحسب من تلاتة لخمسة في المية من الأرباح قبل الضريبة خلاص من لو أقل من خمسة لو ال material mission statement أعلى من خمسة في المية فال auditor هي refuse the financial statement لو أقل من خمسة في المية ال auditor هي accept the financial statement لو من تلاتة لخمسة في المية ال auditor هي يعمل more testing و more more professional judgment اوكي بالنسبه او نص في المية بالنسبه لمن التوتال ريفينيوز بالنسبه للشركات الغير هادفه للربح بيبقى خمسة في المية نص في المية من التوتال اكسبنسز او التوتال ريفينيوز وللشركات اللي مس... ليها نفس ال... ال... حجم التمويل بيبقى نص في المية من التوتال اسيت فاليو خلاص طيب هنكمل في step 1 هنشوف ازاي نحسب ال primary judgment of materiality يبقى ال primary judgment of materiality بيساوي ال percentage of the benchmark اللي هو ال percentage اللي احنا اتكلمنا فيها في السلايد اللي فات اوكي okay. this percentage that we are discussed before is 3 to 5 percent from total profits before tax or uh, half percent of the total revenue step 2 allocate primary judgment of materiality with segment meaning we are going to calculate plurable mission statement In step one, we calculate primarily judgment for the whole financial statement. Now I have to allocate primarily judgment to every account, to every balance account. So the allocation of primarily judgment reality to the segment is necessary because auditors accumulate evidence by segments. يعني هو بيجمع أدلة الإثبات بناء على السيجمنت أو بناء على الأكاونت بالانس rather than for the financial statement as a whole. Yes, he gave an opinion for the financial statement as a whole, but when he accumulates evidence, he accumulates evidence by segments or by account balance. Okay? Most of the auditors allocate materiality to balance sheet rather to income statement account because most income statement account have an equal effect on the balance sheet due to the nature of the double entry accounting. يبقى كلنا بنحسب المتريالتي بناء على الايتمز الخاصة بالبالانس شيت عن الانكم ستيتمنت ليه لان عندنا التأثير اللي بيحصل في الميس ستيتمنت في الانكم ستيتمنت بيكون ليه نفس التأثير على البالانس شيت والبالانس شيت بطبيعة ده نتيجة الدبل انتري اكاونتنج طب how we calculate the probable miss statement the probable miss statement is a percentage of primarily judgment about materiality هو نسبة من ال uh, primarily judgment about materiality بيكون في he is giving for you step 3 and step 3 we're making estimate total miss statement in the segment in step 1 we set primarily judgment about materiality in step 2 we making an allocation of primarily judgment about materiality in every account balance we said we are going to use it in uh, balance sheet account in step 3 we are going to estimate total miss statement in the segment اوكي okay. يبقى احنا في step 1 حددنا primarily judgment about materiality اللي هو التقدير الاولي الاهميه النسبيه في step 2 بدأنا نحدد كل سيجمنت نسبته قد ايه من البرايمالي جادجمنت اوف ماتيرياليتي في ستيب 3 هنعمل استيميت توتال ميس ستيتمنت اوف ذا سيجمنت في الخطوه دي ان ذيس ستيب الاوديتور بروجكت ذا ساندل ريزلتس تو ذا بوبيوليشن بيبدا يحدد النتيجه اللي وصل لها في السامبل بيبدا يوسعها لحد البوبيوليشن ان الاونس فور فور سامبلينج ذيس از اولسو كالكيوليتد وبيحسب حاجة اسمها السامبلينج ريسك أو الكالكوليتد سامبلينج ريسك سامبلينج ريسك is a is a percentage from direct deduction of estimate of miss statement اوكي تمام السامبلينج ريسك أو السامبلينج ايرور is a percentage of direct projection estimate of miss statement to make it easier for us we are going to making the sampling risk equal 50% of some estimate of sampling error equal 50% this we perform it after the substantive tests for each account are completed 
وده بيحصل بعد ما نعمل حاجة اسمها الفابوسين في الطفل و this step is going to be in uh, shifting step in shifting step or shifting phase of uh, absorption process how we going to make estimate social metastasis in the segment we are going to use this formula direct regression estimate of metastasis equal net metastasis in the sample how we get net metastasis in the sample net metastasis in the sample the total value before audit minus the total value after audit okay this net metastasis in the sample is going to be divided by total sample multiply total report population value the total sample meaning the, va the uh, book value of the sample in the financial statement and total recorded population value is the population value or book population value this is what be appears in the financial statement direct regression estimate of metastasis and we will estimate total metastasis in the sum in the segment or in the account balance we are going to use this formula and use the formula دي and give net metastasis in the sample net metastasis اللي هو حجم الأخطاء في القيام المالية أو في السامبل اللي احنا واخدينها ودي بنحسبها انها بتكون total value before audit total value before audit meaning the book value of the sample the book value from the financial statement minus the total value after audit ودي القيمة بعد ما بنشوف عملية المراجعة with total value after audit sums could be overstatement meaning total value value before audit minus number okay or total value before audit is overstatement or total value before auditing is understatement we, we take care that we have overstatement and under احنا عندنا الأخطاء ممكن تكون the total value after audit بتكون the total value before audit بنفرق منها the overstatement أو بنجمع عليها the understatement يبقى the total value before after audit meaning total value before audit minus overstatement or plus understatement the total value before uh, total value or in, in materials we take care that we consider the overstatement and understatement meaning we consider that the value of the sample may be overstatement or understatement okay divided by we put on the total sample with total sample we احنا بنجيبها من القوائم الماليه يعني the book value uh, multiply total recorded population value this meaning اللي هي the population value book population value الموجوده في the financial statement طيب عشان نجيب بعد كده direct regression estimate هنجمع حاجه هنجيب بقى اللي هي the total metastatic segment in the segment could be equal direct regression estimate of metastatic if we ignoring sampling error in the example he could say for you ignore sampling error when he said ignore sampling error this meaning that total metastatic in the segment equal direct regression estimate of metastatic if he didn't say ignore sampling error then estimate total metastatic in the segment equal direct regression estimate of metastatic plus sampling error okay يبقى لو قال لي في في المثال اعمل ignoring the sampling error فيبقى اذا ال total metastatic in the segment بتساوي ال direct regression estimate of metastatic لو ما قاليش ignore sampling error يبقى ال total metastatic in the segment equal direct regression estimate of metastatic plus ال sampling error how we calculate sampling error sampling error be equal direct regression estimate of metastatic multiply estimate for sampling error estimate for sampling error could be uh, percentage like we said we uh, for making easier for us sampling error could uh, some estimate for sampling error could be 50 percent in the example he could say to you the rate 50 percent 10 percent 5 percent whatever the rate of estimate of sampling error and we are going to multiply estimate for sampling error to direct regression estimate of metastatement to get sampling error to get total metastatement in the segment without ignoring sampling error so it's going to be direct regression estimate of metastatement plus sampling error يبقى لو قال لي هنا ignore يبقى I don't going to calculate sampling error لو he didn't say ignore then total metastatement is going to be direct regression estimate of metastatement plus sampling error in step 4 we are going to estimate the combined metastatement this meaning we are going to, to make a sum of all metastatement the financial statement so we are going to make to get each account to get errors for each account to add to each other plus 
total and total sampling error to calculate combined missing statement. Okay? This would be performed after all substantive tests have been completed and from step four, we are going to go to end our process. Now we are going, we are preparing ourselves as an author to give an opinion to issue and report. يبقى الاستيميتد هي كومبايند ميس ستيتمنت احنا بنشوف كل الاخطاء الموجوده في الفاينانشال ستيتمنت نجمعها اوكي نجمع كل الميس ستيتمنت اجينس تو كالكوليت اول ميس ستيتمنت ان ذا فاينانشال ستيتمنت اند وي بريبيرين ان ذا ستيب وي ار جوين تو ستارت بريبيرين اور ريبورت ان ستيب 4 ذس از ذا فيرست ستيب ان ذا ستيج اوف ريبورتينج اند اندينج ريزلتس اند جيف ريزلتس اوكي ستيب 5 ان ستيب Five, we are going to compare combined estimate with we, with we give in step four with primarily data about materials which we given in step one. نبدأ نقارن بقى ب combined mis statements اللي احنا جبناها في step four primarily data about materials اللي احنا حسبناها في step one. Okay, if uh, the comparison shows that primarily data about materials is equal or more than Combined mis statement. Okay, the auditor can conclude that the financial statement are free from from three presented. This is the opinion from the the one in the bowl. This is the opinion we are the auditor is going to give. لو جينا قارنا the combined mis statement مع the primarily data about materials. The combined mis statement طلعت مساوية the primarily data about materials أو أقل منها. معنى ذلك إن the auditor هيدي opinion that the financial statement are free presented. If the combined mis statement Is less or equal to primarily the data about materiality. The author is going to conclude that the financial statement are pre-presented. This is the opinion that the author is going to get. Okay. If the combined missed statement is higher or greater than primarily the data about materiality, then what is the opinion or what is the decision of the auditor? The auditor should request that the client adjust the financial statement. We going to the audit the client and ask him to adjust the financial statement. If the client refuses to adjust the financial statement, then the auditor should issue a qualified or adverse opinion. If he accepted to justify the finance or adjust the financial statement, then the auditor conclude after the adjustment that the financial statement are free from material misstatement. Okay, this is the five steps of material. How we going to accept these five steps in example? Let's discuss example number one in the fall in the next slide. Discuss about example number one. In this example, we see how we going to calculate materiality and what kind of decision as an auditor we should take towards the acceptance or refuse of the account balance. Example number one: If an auditor decided to allocate thirty-six thousand dollars of total preliminary judgment about materiality of five hundred thousand to inventory in auditing in inventory, the auditor found three hundred five thousand of net overstated amount in a sample of fifty thousand of the total population four hundred five five uh, four four hundred fifty thousand. Okay, required explain the auditor decision towards the acceptance or inventory balance sampling error equal fifty percent. Okay, أول حاجة نبدأ. Let's now start in to get the needed information or the information that we need to get primarily judgment about materiality to get our decision to calculate materiality. First of all, primarily judgment about materiality he gave it ready for me, not giving me. Any benchmark to to calculate it? It's given thirty six thousand. Okay, tamam. Second total, we are going to audit bill inventory. So inventory is population four hundred fifty thousand, and the sample is fifty thousand, and net missing statement is three thousand five hundred. Over misses overstated. So this information we are going to use. يبقى أول حاجة هنعملها إن إحنا نخرج ال information اللي إحنا محتاجينها عشان نحسب the total estimated misses statement in the sample or the total estimated misses statement in the segment. Okay. فأول خطوة نحسبها نطلع الأول the primary judgment about material. So هم ديهني جاهزة thirty six thousand. تاني حاجة هنحسب the total sample value اللي هو هم ديهني اللي هي five ال fifty thousand. بعد كده the total population اللي هي عندي for four hundred, four hundred, four hundred fifty thousand, 
والنت ميس ستيت من السامبل اللي هي 3500 تمام يبقى هي دي الانفورميشن اللي انا هستخدمها دي الانفورميشن اللي انا جوينج تو يوز تو كالكوليت مي في العاتي اند تيك انت ديسيجن اوكي هي سايد اولسو ان ذا اكزامبل ذات سامبلينج ايرور از 50% اوكي ليتس سي هاو وي ار جوينج تو يوز ذس انفورميشن تو كالكوليت او تو تيك ذا ديسيجن توردز الاكسبتنس اوف انفنتوري بالانس اوكي First of all, we are going to get direct projection estimate of missed statement equal net missed statement in the sample. Net missed statement equals three hundred five thousand, three three thousand five hundred. Okay, mine um, uh, divided by total sample. Total sample is fifty thousand. Multiply total recorded population value in the example. Total population recorded value is four hundred fifty thousand equal. So projected missed direct projected estimated missed statement is three hundred thirty one hundred five thirty one thousand five hundred. Okay, in this in the in this example, he don't say ignore sampling error, but he give me the rate of sampling error. So I need to calculate sampling error to get estimated total missed statement. Sampling error equal direct projection estimate of missed statement. Okay, uh, uh, multiply estimate for sampling error. Okay, direct projection of net missed statement from step one. Okay, from this this number. Okay, divided by multiply estimate for sampling error. He give me sampling error sample in the example thirty percent. So sampling error is going to be three three thirty one thousand five hundred multiply fifty percent equal fifty uh, fifteen thousand seventy five hundred dollar. Okay. So estimated total missed statement equal direct projection estimate of missed statement step one okay multi plus sampling error step two so estimated total missed statement is equal thirty one thousand five hundred plus fifteen thousand seventy five hundred equal forty seven thousand two two hundred and fifty okay so. Primarily, judgment of mortality was thirty-six thousand, and the estimated total missed statement was forty-seven hundred. So forty-seven thousand two hundred and fifty. We are going to compare between these two numbers. Okay, you have auditor decision. Trollable missed statement was equal thirty-six thousand, as we said, and uh, total estimated missed statement was forty-seven thousand two hundred and fifty. So total estimated missed statements exceeded trollable missed statements. Okay. So the num the the decision the auto reject the inventory balance as it's appear in the balance sheet and requires adjustment made by the management. If as a management or the client have to adjust the inventory balance or he if he refuses the auditor is going to reject the inventory balance as it's appear is uh, material missed statement. Okay. يبقى احنا هنا عندنا هنبدا نقارن ما بين الترابل ميس ستيتمنت توتال سميت ميس ستيتمنت ذا ان ذا انفنتوري كانت عندي طلعت 47250 والترابل ميس ستيتمنت كان 36000 يبقى اذا عندي الترابل ميس ستيتمنت اللي هو الليميت الترابل ميس ستيتمنت هير از ذا ماكسيمم اماونت ذا اوتو جوينج تو اكسبت از ماتيريال ميس ستيتمنت ترابل ميس ستيتمنت از ليس ذان توتال استيميتد ميس ستيتمنت or the total estimated missed statement exceeded the normal missed statement. If we have the auditor, the decision the auditor will do is he will reject the inventory, and he will ask the management or he will ask the client to make an adjustment for the inventory account. Okay. Now we are finished our lecture for today. Okay. Next week we are going to discuss another example in materiality and starting talking about chapter. I will start starting discussing chapter the the first part. Chapter three about how we are going to take a sample from a population or how we are going to calculate a sample. Okay, using statistical sampling and non-statistical sampling in auditing. Thank you.